Welcome to Love Games Live. I'm Chi, and as usual, I'm here with Kazia. Thank you, Chi, and welcome, viewers. So, Tasheni is reaching out to Carol, and Pam Jones is having her burns treated. Poor woman. Auntie Agatha as well goes for HIV tests, and she finds that she's HIV negative. Ooh. But in this uh, episode, we're actually concentrating on uh, Carol's situation. So much drama there, but she's actually making an effort to turn her life around, and she seeks counsel from Pastor Chileshe. But before we get into the thick of things, let's check up with our friend Lulu and see how she has been interacting with the buzz that is happening with you guys. Lulu, take it away. Thanks, Chi and Kazia. To everybody out there, join the massive conversation that we are having with our fans on Twitter and Facebook. All you have to do is simply search for Love Games Live on Facebook and Twitter and add your voice to the conversation. Last week on The Love Test, we asked you a simple question. True or false? It's sometimes okay for a man or a woman to hide their HIV status from their sexual partner. The answer was false. It's important to share your HIV status with your partner. That way you're fully informed and are able to live a healthier and happier life. Here's this week's love test question. What advice did Pastor Chileshe give to Carol when she told him that she had been sleeping around to feel loved? Did he say that Carol should A. Continue with these relationships B. Go for health and psychological counseling C. Do nothing about it or D. Encourage her friends to join in Type the word safe, leave a space, then your answer A, B, C or D and send that to 7233 You could just be one of our lucky winners all right, for now, it's back to Chi and Kazia. And today's exciting topic, does having multiple sexual partners increase the chance of one finding love or HIV? Let's find out. Thanks, Lulu. Well, in the case of Carol, we all knew that she was supposed to be married, but her wedding was called off on the day because the groom changed his mind. And since then, the poor girl has been feeling lonely and unloved. And because of this, she's actually reignited her relationship with her married boss, Mikobi. And in the past few episodes, we've actually seen her add on some more men to her list of lovers. Now, in her mind, she's simply looking for love. Mm -hmm. But is she on the right path? Let's take a look. I've been looking for love in the wrong ways. I've been with a lot of men. It's not that I want to sleep with them. I just, I just want to feel loved. Carol, that's not how you find love. With Carol, it's now feeling like she's even lonelier than she was, and not to mention she's feeling used and actually lonelier than she was in the beginning of the show. Yeah, and now her conscience is bothering her. I mean, that's why she had to seek advice and help from Pastor Chileshe. Now, there are a lot of people out there who are actually looking for that special person for their heart. I mean, their one true love, so to say. And in that quest, a lot of people may actually go through different relationships before they find the right person. Yeah, we're not telling you the one true formula to finding true love, but I mean, some people find it at first sight and sometimes it takes longer. What we're encouraging you is to actually take some time, be patient, because finding that romantic partner is a journey and it shouldn't be rushed because when you rush it, you might actually end up with the wrong type of person and making bad decisions. So avoid casual, unprotected sex in the search of finding true love. Exactly, and of course, the more you expose yourself to multiple sexual partners, the higher you're putting yourself at risk to HIV and contracting other STIs. When you find yourself feeling needy, lonely, and vulnerable, it's best to open up with your problems with people that you trust. Also, hang out with friends, you know, do some activities, exercise, and seek professional help where possible. I think all these options are much better than turning to alcohol and sex. Yeah, I mean, look, alcohol and sex may actually seem like quick fixes, but the truth is alcohol does reduce your control. And and you could easily end up doing something that you regret, especially in this time of HIV and AIDS. Allow yourself time to heal from broken relationships. And when the time is right, I guarantee you will find your Prince Charming or your Cinderella. So what you're saying is that be smart, do the right thing, get tested and love safely. Yeah, that's all from us for now. But before we go, here's Lulu again. Lulu, how's it going? 
Thanks guys, what great insights you have right there. These are very helpful and could change someone's perspective for the better. Don't forget to join the conversation that's going on right now on Twitter or Facebook. We asked, does having more sexual partners mean more love or more HIV? Thanks to everybody that has already commented on the conversations that are going on right now. I'm going to repeat the love test question because we want you to win something tonight. And the question is, what advice did Pastor Chilesha give to Carol when he was told that she had been sleeping with different men to feel loved? Did he say that she should a continue with these relationships b go for health and psychological counseling c do nothing about it or d encourage her friends to join in send your answers by simply texting the word safe living a space and typing your answer a b c o d and sending that to 7233 don't forget the 20th correct answer walks away with a fabulous prize from love games remember love safely test together and have one sexual partner. On behalf of me, Chi and Kazia, it's goodbye and see you again next week. We're always here for you. Don't you doubt our care is true, it's true. Say so long to the pain you've been going through. We'll always stick with you. We will always hear Tell, live life today. Activate.